Dan Krishna Jawan. Thank you for joining us on Remarkable. What's your remarkable journey? So, uh, thanks Yuma for your time and as always I love talking to you because I find you a very very experienced and a very logical journalist in our industry and thank you very much. So, I think what is remarkable for us is from where we have been growing and I think the most important pillars for our growth has been the ethics, I think what we bring to the industry, to all our partners and stakeholders. And I'm very proud to say that 99% will say the same feelings what I have. I think service levels, you know, your sales can go up and down, but your services should never suffer. I think that's something which we totally believe in. Third is obviously the tech which has happened for the last 15 years, keeps evolving, we will continue to innovate to make us sure we're above the curve. And I think fourth is the humility which starts from me and from my team. You know, I think the relationship what we have dwelled over the years with our partners, whether it's the airline, whether it's the travel partners, uh, tourism boards, etc. I think it's, it's phenomenal and I think that's something today we've been reaping benefits out of it. And I think transparency and ethics, I think the most what we demonstrated in the last 14 months when COVID happened, I think we, we held hands of everybody, including our employees and our travel partners, make sure everybody's comfortable during the toughest time probably one has ever faced in the industry, be it the refunds, be it cancellations, etc. And I think that 14 months uh, it's something which is behind us and I'm sure going forward and I can already see numbers uh, Riva bouncing back to almost 70% at pre-COVID levels for a company like ours at a very high pace. So I think this is the journey. Going forward, um, exciting times and I can tell you we are looking at some acquisitions in the international markets, primarily looking at the bed banks because that's something I think we want to further consolidate our strength. Uh, so we are looking at a company in Europe, we are looking at a company in Middle East, uh, you know, which I think will bring a lot of mass you know, for us you know, to further negotiate supply, which will further help our travel partners. Second, I think we did two acquisitions this year. Uh, put, uh, so we did Gemini, which was to the number two player. We also buy, bought Island Hopper in 2019. Very proud to say that we become four times the size when we bought them and now with Gemini further you know coming to us so I think this is a very unique thing that the number one player from all these bought the number two and I think we control about 38% of the market today and I'm sure going forward it'll only get better and bigger for us and further give great pricing to our partners not only from all these also for Seychelles, Bali, uh, Mauritius you know which I think should be op uh, opening somewhere around 1st of October for a double vaccinated uh, Indian passenger. One change what I'm seeing, census prevailing in the industry, right? I think people realize during COVID, you know, that the cash flows, the incomes is something which is extremely important. And I think this is something which I strongly believe that there will be a lot of margin improvement, you know. Um, there will be people who will believe into quality serving with the right margin. I think alliances will happen, collaborations will happen. I think egos put aside, people need to get together to ensure that, you know, they synergize together to further win this battle. Um, I think third, which is the most important learning for me personally, and I'm sure for the market as well, don't put your eggs in, and only don't put all your eggs in one basket. I think today in the last one year, we opened our marine business, you know, serving merchant navy, seafarers, which never stopped during COVID. Cargo, which is completely different from what we do, you know, is something which is very exciting because what I realized is that cargo during World War, 9-11, SARS never ever stopped. India's exports are only growing. If you notice in July, India had the highest export ever in the history, you know, on the export side. What, is the, what does that mean? I mean, there will be export both in ocean and air. And I think we're a very unique company today, which is actually filling the belly of the aircraft as well as the top. So the supply is common, the demand is different. We will further educate our partners to sell marine. We will request them to sell cargo so that they make more revenues for themselves. And God forbid something like COVID happens again, you know, five years, at least you're just not stuck with one business and it'll help you to survive for the next 18 months uh, to ensure that you keep running your business, holding your staff and ensure that uh, the money which you made or you will make will make you survive the pandemic. And I really wish and pray it doesn't happen at least in my lifetime. So the Japan Group will continue to work on the representation slash the GSA model for the hotels. A lot of things were at pause for the 14 months. I think as the market opens up, 2022, every hotelier, every tourism board will look into India as one of the top three markets. Uh, I think that's something which India will, will enjoy the most. I think the best part was COVID. India will become a very important market, I think, for going forward for all these hotels and tourism boards. Obviously, we will dipstick and I'm sure we'll get our, our right share, rightful share 
you know, and I'm sure the other colleagues also will benefit out of this. Watch your margins, own your customers, right? And have, have collaborations with people you believe in and work with partners who have stood by with you at COVID in the toughest time, you know, because they also burned the midnight oil to ensure that you're happy and you're satisfied. You know, so margin here and there doesn't matter. But I think trust and the transparency which you witnessed during the last 15 months is something which I think you should work both ways as a supply as well as demand. I mean, that's something which is my learning over the last 15 months. It's a proud moment for me to open our third office in Mumbai. Nariman Point will continue to operate for the airline business, the air business, and anything which is non-air and representation will obviously work out of our uh, office in the Lady today, which you are witnessing today.